All right, today we're testing out all the different forms of deep research that are out there, ChatGPT, Perplexity, Google Gemini Deep Research. We're gonna test all these ones out and see which one is the best. And we're gonna look into this. And with that being said, let's go ahead and let's dive in. So you know, the first thing I do when I learn about a new AI tool is I ask ChatGPT or ask the tool to tell me more about itself. So this is no different. The first thing I did is I went in Perplexity and said, okay, what is perplexity deep research? And then I took all the information and I put it into ChatGPT and said, here's a summary of perplexity's new tool. Can you help me create a prompt template based on how this tool works? And so it did that, gave me a template. Here is the template right here. You can see it's pretty comprehensive. And then I said, okay, based on this template, now create a prompt. And we did the same exact thing for Google as well. So let me show you what this looks like. The first thing we do, here we are on Gemini Advanced. So what is the Google Gemini Deep Research all about? Uh, I need a little more than that. Let's say, can you give me more details? All right, now we're working, now we're working. Okay, cool, so let's take this guy right here. This is the same thing we do with other ones. Take this example, I'm gonna go to ChatGPT. I'm gonna say, using this information on Gemini Deep Research, craft a prompt template so I can unlock its features for different use cases. But I have this whole prompt template right here. So I have the whole thing right here. And now guys, I'm gonna put all these different prompt templates in the description below. So if you wanna take a look at those prompt templates and use them for Gemini, for Perplexity, for ChatGPT, go ahead and look in the description below. I have this prompt template right here for Google Gemini. I have a prompt template for Perplexity. And I also have a prompt template for ChatGPT as well. Let me pull it up right here so you can see this. All right, and here's a prompt template for perplexity, or not perplexity, for ChatGPT deep research. All right here, pretty awesome here. Cool. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna have it build me a similar prompt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the same prompt into it. Now it's gonna have different outputs depending on the system, so the perplexity one might be a little bit different than the Gemini, than the ChatGPT, but it'll all be based on the same prompt itself. So. All right, so they do the same thing in all three of them. So here we go, I'm gonna copy this so I can use the exact same one, paste it here, this is ChatGPT. This one right here is Gemini Deep Research. And this one right here is for Perplexity Deep Research. So the exact same ones. All three are the same thing. Now it's gonna look a little different for each one, but then we're gonna put them into the system and see which one creates better results, all right? So I'm gonna go here to Perplexity, get ready. Just activate Perplexity Deep Research. Go here and go there. Now that sounded a lot more intense and exciting than it was literally just two clicks there. Same thing for Gemini, move over here to, to activate this and create a new chat here. Go down here and then click on deep research. And then last but not least for ChatGPT deep research, here's a prompt for that one. Let me go ahead and grab ChatGPT again. And we're just gonna click on here, deep research. Now I'm gonna go with the 01 model because I like that one better. So there we go. We're going to be 
comparing a word count or overlooking it to see which one is the more comprehensive report and provides more accurate information. And oh, by the way, guess who's going to be determining which is the better model? Grok. Have Grok do the analysis on which one is the better one. You know, I can't have ChatGPT be the judge of all these guys. That wouldn't be fair. Can't have Copilot because, well, it's Copilot. <laughs> Am I right? So I can't have that. I had to do something a little different, so we'll have Grok compare all three of them to see which one is the best one. So, and all right, so we have here in Gemini, it talks about the feasibility study. Here's a research plan. All right, it's going to research websites, analyze results, create report, and write in a few minutes. That sounds as good as any. And let's look at this one right here. And I'm just gonna say, sounds good. I don't want to give it too many custom instructions. I do like the fact that ChatGPT Deep Research asks for more customizable stuff, but to be fair to all these ones, I don't want to do that because, you know, just because they don't have that feature on like perplexity or things like that. So ChatGPT Deep Research is working, Gemini Deep Research is working, and perplexity is working. So let's see which one's the best one. Okay, let's take a look at how we are doing with all the different deep research prompts we have so far. Chat GPT deep research, we have 14 sources. Here's its activity so far. Gemini has 134 different websites that it's researched so far. Very impressive, very, very impressive Google Gemini. It's looking at that and let's look at perplexity. Perplexity is stuck right here. So I had this issue yesterday, I was trying to make a video on it last night, putting this together and it kept getting stuck here. So. If perplexity cannot get past this point, then I'm I'm ready to leave perplexity deep research off the list of anything reputable. I like perplexity a lot. That's the thing. I really like this tool. I like this AI tool a lot. I've changed my default browser to this, but for whatever reason, it keeps getting stuck on the fourth bullet point. I'm doing a totally different prompt than last night too. I'm doing something completely unrelated, and it keeps getting stopped at this this one right here. So. We'll see what happens. And as we're waiting for Perplexity and ChatGPT and Google Gemini to wrap up their deep research, I want to take a second to let you know that today's video is being brought to you by our friends over at Visme. I have a referral code for Visme. You can use my referral code for that, support the channel, so get yourself a phenomenal AI presentation maker. Now let's go ahead and let's check in on our friends over at Perplexity, ChatGPT, and Google Gemini. Let's see how we're doing here. All right, so we have ChatGPT is done. There's 38 sources here. I have a Word document ready to go. I'm gonna copy and paste this into here. You can see this is pretty comprehensive right now. This is a pretty comprehensive result that we're looking at. So I'm liking this so far. And ChatGPT Deep Research just has thoroughly impressed me, to be honest with you. I'm really excited for this. So I'm really curious to see how Perplexity and how Google Gemini stand up against this. I'm gonna paste this into ChatGPT. Okay, so I wanted to get rid of all the different hyperlinks that are in there. I have a list of sources as well, but I want to be a fair comparison to all, all the different uh, sources out there, all the different platforms we're comparing. I'm going to show you this right here. So all together is 19,518 words or 37 pages. Now some of that is going to be sources and things like that. So I want to compare just the text, not the sources here. And it's cool that they have a bunch of sources, but we'll get rid of the sources. We can see the actual comparison. And we have 19,191 words. Now in terms of number of sources that each has as well, because it's also... Good to know, I'm gonna go here and voila, 15 different sources in ChatGPT. And here's the same one for Google. Now this is really cool. So right here, I could copy the whole thing or I can also open it right away in Google Docs. Let's try this here, open in Google Docs. Now this is pretty sweet here. This is the first time I'm using this, so this is, this is actually cool. Within the ChatGPT model, the only drawback I have on that is it 
it puts the sources in a really, really funky, weird way. So I'm just going to grab a section of it so you can see what this looks like. Okay. So let me just grab this thing right here. Right. It puts this this link right here. So it's kind of a weird, funky spot, mess up the periods. So you have to go in and edit this out and, you know, change this to a footnote or to in text citation or just delete it all together. But it's kind of annoying. I think this thing right here, put it into Google Docs and it does that automatically for you is rather, rather cool. This one has 63 different sources. And let's take a look at how many words this guy has. This one has 3,316 words or 12 pages. So, so far the chat should be T1 is a little longer. And let's take a look at the perplexity one. This seems much shorter, but maybe, maybe I'm mistaken here. And this one is 769 words. So definitely the shortest of all of them. I do like the fact that this one's a table in it as well. That's kind of cool. I saw that Gemini had the same thing. And like I said, we're using Grok to analyze all of them together. So here I'm going to say I am a city manager in Hewitt and I'm exploring the feasibility of a transit system in my city. Which of these three documents provides the most comprehensive analysis of this topic? As you can see, the Gemini one is a PDF because I took that Google Doc and just printed it out as a PDF and uploaded it that way. So that way we're having a fair comparison across the board here. And the one that won is the one from titled Feasible, Feasibility Analysis for Establishing a Public Transit System in Hewitt, Texas. And the one that was the most comprehensive, it said, was actually perplexity. So very interesting. While the other document executive summary, which is the ChatGPT one, does provide a decent overview, it lacks the depth, detailed financial analysis, and structure recommendations found in uh, this one right here, which is perplexity one. So rather interesting. So pretty interesting that all three of them got some interesting reviews. I'm actually surprised that Grok said that the perplexity one was the most comprehensive. I want to ask him a follow-up and say, um, compare, compare the one titled Transit System Feasibility Study for the City of Hewitt, Texas. This is the Google Gemini one with feasibility analysis for establishing a public transit system in Hewitt, Texas. Compare and contrast. Feasibility analysis, which is perplexity is a more structured and detailed examination. Transit system feasibility study is structured somewhat differently with an emphasis on presenting various transit options in a table format. Uh, the detailed financial analysis, feasibility analysis, this is again the perplexity one. Perplexity gives detailed specific cost estimates for both capital and operational expenses. And Gemini mentions costs in a more general manner. So that's what it's pulling into, what, what's more specific. So rather interesting there, what it's pulling together. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool what it's doing there and how it's, how it's pulling that in. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know which of these ones you're going to play with. I'm going to start using all of them really and kind of test them out and see what the differences are and comparing and contrasting between the two to see which one is actually giving uh, accurate and relevant information. So this is pretty cool. I'm excited for this wave of research in generative AI, kind of an interesting response to DeepSeek. Um, it's a whole different topic, but I think this is a really, really cool platform. I love all these different research tools. Very surprised that Perplexity had such high, high marks, to be honest with you. Kind of surprised by that. But yeah, this is, this is pretty awesome. What a world to be alive in today. Till next time, be well.